Following the brutal dehorning last week on three white rhinos at Kariha Game Reserve, game officials, veterinarians and volunteers have been treating the two surviving animals. The bravery of the rhinos thus far has led the rangers to name them Tandiswa and Temba, two Tosa names meaning courage and hope. The concern of the day surrounded Temba's hind leg that was injured during the poaching. Veterinarian Dr. William Folds worried that the rhino would have to be euthanized. It's a huge relief not to have had to do that. Um, although there, there's still deterioration in terms of the superficial aspects of his leg, like the skin side of it, uh, internally the blood supply is very good. Tandy, the stronger out of the two, is steadily recuperating from her injuries, but Folds still has concerns. I was hoping that the maggot levels would have would have improved um, and there's still an enormous amount of maggots in both the animals and we weren't even able to flush all of them. We spent more time on her so we, we could get most of them away. Despite the setbacks, Kiruchi General Manager Alan Veyer says that they have been inundated with support and encouragement. It's, it's heartening to know that there is that kind of support out there. It's not a problem that's unique to us. It's a global problem and the more people that know about it and the more, more people that are aware of it, the more chance we have of, of, of doing something about it. For now, Temba and Tandiswa live to see another day. But it's a race against time before South Africa's rhino population is decimated beyond any hope of recovery. This is Thomas Smalls reporting from Kariha Game Reserve for Rhodes TV Journalism.